a lawyer represents you at every stage of the proceedings, the public defender is standing by. Um, you can hire your own attorney. The public defender's office is helping you today. Beyond today, if you want the public defender's office to continue to represent you, you need to fill a 5A form out and apply for the public defender. If you qualify, someone from the Burlington County Public Defender's Office will be assigned to your case. When you get to talk to your lawyer, talk to your lawyer about um, two programs that might help you. One is uh, pretrial detention. The other is drug court. Uh, those programs are diversionary programs. They have to uh, be applied for online by your attorney. And if um, you're in those programs, it might help you. But talk about drug court and pretrial We'll see if the prosecutor, the, the prosecutor today, uh, the prosecutor, you have the right to pretrial release unless the prosecutor files a motion for your pretrial detention. And uh, if you, that happened, you'd be detained until the pretrial detention uh, hearing date. Um, I don't think that's happened, though. So let's, uh, uh, before we uh, do that, I have three questions for you. Uh, Ms. Webb, are you a United States citizen? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Are you, are you a United States military veteran? Yes or no? No? Okay. Those questions are asked because they require additional uh, statements to be made to you, but I don't have to do that. Uh, uh, do you have any questions about your rights? Again, don't tell me about your case. Do you have any questions about any of the little details that I just gave you? No. No? Okay, very good. Was there a question there? I'll be happy to answer questions. I don't want to talk about your facts or your, or your situation. Like I said before, Your Honor, I have a gap in my tooth, and sometimes I leak. I would not, I would never intentionally. Um, oh, no, you see, again, exactly what I wish you do not. So many times, ma'am, you are, you are presumed innocent, and you have the right to remain silent. You're not trying to explain the charges. We're not having a trial today, okay? I'm not the person that's going to decide if you're guilty or not guilty. That would either be a different judge or it would be a jury. So just hold on to it. And, you know, you say things you think that might be helping you. Uh, they may not be helping you. All right, so apparently you have no questions about your rights. Let me hear from the prosecutor, please. Judge, uh, the defendant's uh, public safety assessment comes back a four for failure to appear. Three for new criminal activity. There is no release recommended pursuant to the PSA. However, the state has not sought uh, the defendant's attention and asked you to uh, release her pretrial monitoring level two. Mr. Rizzo. No objection, Your Honor. Mr. Prosecutor, back to you. Are you requesting uh, no contact with the uh, alleged victim? Yes, Judge. Uh, there, I mean, there, uh, ha not having heard from the victim, we're going to err on the side of caution and ask for a no contact order uh, at this time. Okay. Uh, Ms. Webb, you are released on monitoring level two. Um, monitoring level two requires you to report to pretrial services every two weeks. Normally, it's done in person the first time, then two weeks go by, you report by phone, then two weeks go by, you report in person, and then two weeks after that by phone. Uh, but in-person reporting is not happening these days. Uh, please uh, check with pretrial service as to exactly how you will do your reporting. A lot of it is probably going to be by phone, but they'll give you exact details. But you have to report uh, every two weeks. Uh, and if you don't do that, <coughs> excuse me, you will have, uh, there will be a violation of your uh, release conditions. All of these conditions I'm going to tell you. Um, I do believe it's 133 Sequitter. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. What's your address in Browns Mills? It's PO Box 631. Browns Mills. Well, I don't think you live in the PO Box, so where, where, do, you, where do you live outside the PO Box? Sometimes I stay with my boyfriend. Other times I say right. Where, where do you live outside of the P.O. box? I'm homeless. I'm sorry? I'm homeless. So I didn't hear you. I'm homeless. Okay. Um, you are not 2020 here at the Burlington County Courthouse. It will be at 9 a.m. That court date on June 3rd is not a trial. It is a pre-trial conference. Uh, excuse me. It is a pre-indictment conference, a pre-indictment conference to see if the case can be resolved before um, your uh, case is uh, presented to the grand jury for possible indictment. And actually, that case on Wednesday, June 3rd, is for the one charge of 
um, committing a uh, uh, soaring bodily fluid at a law enforcement officer. You also have the simple assault charge, and that's going to be heard in the Pemberton Township Municipal Court, and that's going to be heard uh, earlier on May 4th at 3 p.m. in the Pemberton Township Municipal Court. So again, the assault charge involving TF is May 4th, which is a Monday at 3 p.m. in the Bremerton Township Municipal Court. And the uh, charge involving the police officer is on a Wednesday, June the 3rd at 9 o'clock on the 7th floor of the Burlington County Courthouse. If you miss either of those court dates, a warrant will be issued for your arrest. Do you have any questions about your court dates? No? Okay. Any other questions in general? No. No. Okay. I'm glad we made it through the hearing so you can be released on module level two today. Good luck to you. Please be careful and comply with conditions. Thank you, ACJ. Thank you, sir. All right. We will move on to the John Emilio case, which is a motion to modify release conditions. Uh, case number 20-668. Thank you, uh, Mr. Singal. I think that we're switching over to Mr. Remy. Yes, Judge. And I, uh, thank you, Mr. Rizzo. I think we're switching over to uh, Mr. Jason Seidman. That's and correct, Judge. Thank right. you, Judge. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, John Emilio case. Is he, is he uh, listening? Is he on board here, sir? Uh, so I was told the court was going to try and reach out to him because one of his conditions of release is uh, no Internet use, Judge. Okay. I can have him um, try and call yeah. in, but I was told that the well, court would be reaching out to him. Let me, let me, let me call him, okay? What, what number do you have for him? Uh, let me just pull up the email. That I, that I um. Hey, Charles. Yes. Uh, 718. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Doesn't look like he's picking up. I did speak to him, Judge. I told him to be ready around two. I don't know what happened. I yeah, can see if I have another number. Now for it. What's that? I'm just checking to see if I have another number. Okay. I have. Uh, I can. You can try this one, Judge. Three four seven. Hi, uh, your attorney is present on the Zoom, and the prosecutor is too. We're going to start the hearing right now, okay, sir? Okay, sir. All right, very good. Stand by. It should not take that long. Uh, please, please don't drive a vehicle while we're talking, okay? No driving. Okay, very good. All right, uh, John Emilio case 20 668 01, uh, motion to modify pretrial uh, release uh, conditions filed by. Uh,